this is Tam and I'm actually back tonight because I forgot to tell you guys something. I went to True Kitchen tonight. I know I've talked about how much I love being in Dallas and I uh, literally live pretty close to the restaurant by close. I'm not gonna give you my address, but very close. And tonight I spent almost 90 bucks on a couple things. So I got the chicken and waffles. I got uh, two additional orders of waffles. Um, I also got some pork chops and I got some seafood gumbo. So I ate like literally all the food because this I love <laughs> darling, I love to eat. Um, but what I didn't eat <laughs> yet is actually the seafood. And I wanted to actually do a review. I wanted to do a review on everything, but I was <sighs> girl to do a review on everything, but unfortunately, fortunately, I was very hungry, so um, I will let you know that the chicken was, it was okay. It was missing like slappy mama or something. And then the waffles, I got the pecan and the regular waffles. Now the pecan waffles, it have like a um, pecan pie drizzle on top. No lie. It tastes just like pecan pie. So I absolutely recommend it. I know Tate is a god. And I, I questioned myself as to why I didn't order some additional waffles with the with the pecan syrup, whatever heaven red blood of Jesus sauce that was on it. It was delicious. Um anyway, so I want to get into this gumbo that is very, I would call potent. Okay. I am not a fan of potent dishes, but I understand anything with uh, seafood can bring out the aromas so i'm gonna taste it just so you you guys can live vicariously through me i know a lot of people have commented on my page about coming to dallas and enjoying um some of the seafood i will let you know that look they have whole pieces of seafood in there i don't know if you guys could see i don't know how the youtubers do it how do they do it how do they how do they do this you see that okay there we go so whole pieces of shale sitting in my seafood like it's in the ocean. Um, the root is very thick and um, looks like a lot of meat. So rice is in there and uh, it's very thick. So as far as what it tastes like, the moment we've all been waiting for as far as taste, let's, uh, let's dig in. Try one more time. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I was missing a shrimp on the bite. Okay. Okay. Roux is definitely thick. Some may say muddy. Um, it is a little bit high in the sodium. Um, like somebody, somebody got some heavy hands. Um, but overall, the flavor is there texture is good it's not as potent as i thought it was going to be it's definitely not as not as fishy i'm not a fan of the the hard shell items in my dish that makes me get my hands messy but um overall on a scale from one to ten ten being the best um no pun intended for that video of that chick i would rate this as a seven since i can use this seven uh, this go around so if you're ever in Dallas this is definitely good you know maybe we just got a uh, high blood pressure batch this time around but overall I definitely recommend I heard the oxtails are really good so that's what I'll be trying next I want to thank you guys so much for watching my name is Tam this has been another Tam Talks and Tam Eats I'll see you next time bye